So let me share it with you. Okay. The seven straight double doubles. No other rookie in WNBA history has done that. So let us get your initial reactions to making history here today. Man, I'm just happy we finally won. Um, <laughs> and at home, um, it, it's super exciting, obviously, for myself. And I try to give myself some grace and tell myself I'm doing a good job, but I have so much more to grow. And I'm, I'm just excited to be in this league and just be excited to win some more. Have you ever wondered what happens when a top athlete who everyone thinks is invincible is caught up in a controversy that may end her career? Buckle up because we are about to dive into one of the most startling moments in WNBA since its inception. Now look, let's get to the WNBA where Chicago Sky rookie forward Angel Reese was ejected from the game last night against the New York Liberty after drawing consecutive technical fouls. The ejection happened after Reese was called for her fifth foul and was, quote, disrespectfully addressing, end quote, official Charles Watson. Angel Reese is a rising star in the WNBA, drafted seventh overall by the Sky two months ago. On Monday, Reese addressed the media following that controversial technical foul on her teammate, Kennedy Carter, who shoved Caitlin Clark. Angel Reese, a popular figure who has created a reputation as a force to reckon with on and off the court, is facing allegations of drug use. Ever since the allegations came to light, the basketball world has been thrown into a turmoil. When I think about it, it's a neck and neck race. It's not a foregone conclusion. The fact that Angel Reese is in the mix is a beautiful, beautiful thing with all the notoriety that's been thrown in the direction, Eminem, for, for Caitlin Clark. But that's where I want to go with this. I want to, uh, this is the biggest thing we have to applaud about Angel Reese. She goes out in the midst of all of this pub and notoriety being thrown in the direction of a Caitlin Clark. And Everybody is talking about, yeah, but it's Caitlin Clark and everybody else. Well, Angel Reese said, nah, it ain't, ain't it Caitlin Clark and everybody else. It's me too. And then showed up on national television, showed up last night, and down 15, having already lost two games to Caitlin Clark, Caitlin Clark already this year, brings her team back, puts it on her shoulders. This isn't just a sensational headline it can change everything for women's basketball. Let's look deeper into this allegation to understand how one of the brightest stars in women's basketball found herself in the middle of this storm that could end her short career. Yes, but um, the, the emotions is not something um, I've seen from you yet. Um, so can you just describe the reason for the tears? And well, we won today. <laughs> We won today, but they just told me I, um, I'm an all-star. And I mean, I'm just so happy. I know the work I put in coming into this league. So many people doubted me and didn't think my game would translate and I wouldn't be the player that I was in college or better or would be worse and wouldn't be where I am right now. But I trusted the process and I believed and I'm thankful that I dropped to seven and was able to come to Chicago and like, it's just a blessing. I can't thank my teammates and my coaches enough for just believing in me and trusting me. And I know all of them are gonna come to Phoenix and support me. So I'm, I'm, I'm really happy right now. We all know how drug charges are seen as a grievous crime in sports. Frankly, it is one of the worst things that can happen to an athlete besides injuries. The reason is really simple. The use of steroids takes away the spirit of fair competition, which is the basis of every competitive sport. They've been super supportive since I got here. Um, being able to come to a big city like Chicago and leaving Baton Rouge was hard for me, but being welcomed by Chicago and all the amazing fans here has been amazing. Being able to see our ticket sales going up, being able to see the jersey sellouts and so many people reaching out and loving women's basketball. And that's all I'm about, like being able to grow the game and being able to come here and make an impact is something I'm looking forward to. Has anything surprised you about Chicago? <laughs> like the city, the culture? The um, I just got here yesterday, so I haven't really been able to go out just yet, um, but I, I'm sure I'll I'll enjoy more experiences. By the way, and well, um, it's you know? been such a quick turnaround. Obviously, from yeah. the tournament to the draft to here, just what have those weeks looked like for you? And do you feel like the emotions have settled at all? <laughs> um, no, I feel like I've been honestly on go, but it's a blessing um, being able to balance school and also being able to be here, making a quick turnaround and moving from the drive. It's been crazy and I really haven't been able to take a deep breath about it, but I'm ready. 
So how did the Chicago Sky Star find herself in the middle of this unwanted conversation? And the most absurd part is that Angel Reese may have avoided all these inconveniences if she had chosen a different sport. Well, let's break everything to understand why such a talented player could be associated with something awful like drug use. Sit back and think about everything that's going on since she got No, <laughs> my coach asked me today, did you celebrate your double-double stick? And I was like, I don't have time to celebrate. Like, I don't have time to sit there and just celebrate. As you kind of saw my reaction when they told me I was rookie of the month. I'm like, I don't have time to celebrate. I got a game today, so I just live my life. I mean, as I just go um, day by day and just try to just be thankful and just know that this opportunity doesn't come come often. Hey, Angel, Rashad Milligan rolling out. Um, 17, 18 rebounds tonight. What was going so well? Oh, really? Boys. Okay. 19. 19. Oh, okay. And it wasn't all authentic, like people said. Oh. Okay. <laughs> Um, I'm just happy being able to impact my help impact the team in a, in a, in a way that they need. Um, I know defensively that's something that I've been trying to work on and continue to work on, being able to have to guard the legend Tina Charles um, any given night, and I'm just being able to learn from her as, as I'm just guarding her. Angel Reese has received lots of attention, but not all of them are for the right reasons. She is a famous and vocal player in the WNBA. She is known for her aggressive plays and commanding presence on the court. I share Taylor in New York Beacon. <laughs> um, what message do you have for those high school girls in Baltimore who are looking up to you? Just be you. A lot of people may just tell you that you can't do certain things and you're going to get more yeses than noes. And I had to realize that um, just being able to be authentic and people love me because who I am. I have those tough conversations. I say things that a lot of people are scared to say and take that scary step. I took a scary step of faith going to LSU, not knowing what could happen and look how my life has completely changed. So being able to just believe in yourself, trust in yourself and have an amazing team behind me is, is, is great. Congratulations. Thank you. Um, can you talk a little bit about that emotion going from uh, the last few months to having your name called a few moments ago? Um, I mean, I didn't know what I was going to do. I mean, obviously coming back would have been amazing for me, but I wanted more for myself. I wanted to start over. I felt like I had been in a high for since the national championship, and I want to hit rock bottom. I want to be a rookie again. However, she has found herself in the middle of an unwanted conversation. According to many sources, Angel Reese has been suspected of juicing up, which might damage her image alongside terminating her career. I'ma take it to that team, I'ma beat them, and I'ma show you I'm just as worthy. That's how you do it. She did exactly that yesterday afternoon, and now we're sitting up here talking about her as a Rookie of the Year candidate, and damn it, if you got her as your favorite, I don't even mind. These possible consequences have led sports personality Stephen A. Smith to allegedly confront the player. In his usual candid manner, he questioned the treatment of Reese. However, he didn't confirm or deny the rumors of drug use and possible ban from the league for the former LSU power forward. But then the second assistant stepped up and threw it back in her face, now you got half the basketball world saying, well, you know what, that's not that's not the classiest thing to do. Yeah. That's not the way it that, the that, that, that she It was the exact same thing. It was the exact same thing. Now, you exact can make an thing. argument that if they're doing excessive celebration in her face mm -hmm. after the game is over, all right, then you can make that argument. But you had people complaining about it when she was doing it during the game. Wait a minute, LSU told you before the game yeah. But we didn't like how she was acting towards South Carolina. She ain't going to do that against us. Correct me if I'm wrong, Janae. That's exactly what they were saying. Going into the game, they let the basketball world know, y'all think that this is going to be some storybook ending for her. Y'all must have got it twisted. We coming, and we going to get at her. They told you before the game, then they got in the game, got all up in her in Iowa, was up by 17 at the half, and you're waving, you're doing the scene up. Well, I ain't here. Going back to Angel Reese is going to be in a whole lot of trouble because use of steroids in sports betrays the confidence of fans, teammates, and the whole sports community alongside bridging the rules. For a popular, talented, and adored player like Angel Reese, the controversy is nothing short of devastating. How did this happen? I don't really get to stand up for myself. I mean, I have great teammates, I have a great support system, I got my hometown, I got my family that stands up for me. 
I don't really get to speak out on things just because I just try to ignore and I just try to stand strong. Like I've been through so much. I've seen so much. I've been attacked so many times. Death threats. I've been sexualized. I've been threatened. I've been so many things and I've stood strong every single time. And I just try to stand strong for my teammates because I don't want them to see me down and like not be there for them. So. I just want to always just know, like, I'm still a human, like. Let's take a moment to discuss drugs in sports. Why are they such a big issue? Steroids, for example, are merely a kind of cheating. They provide sportsmen and women an unfair edge by pushing their physical abilities beyond their natural limitations. What it implies is that users artificially enhance their muscles, increase stamina, and claim to be invincible when, in fact, they are playing with marked cards. Thanks. What's your kind of how do you define leadership? How do you define your style of leadership? And how do you feel like that impacts your team? Um, I think I'm just very competitive and I have a winner mentality. Um, being able to go and practice and want to win every drill, want to do everything at perfection. I'm, I'm kind of perfectionist, so I want to do everything at a high level and not really take any time off because you don't get these opportunities. Like she said, there's not many spots on the team. There's not many places to go. So just being able to be here and embrace this moment and not take it for granted is what is important for me right now. Kind of looking at your skill on the court. I think a lot of your attention comes from what you can do in the defensive side with your versatility. Yeah. I don't think underrated is the skill that you have offense. Mm -hmm. Can you just kind of speak to you, like skill wise, where you are with your handle and your yeah. Therefore, steroids are prohibited in all sports for this reason. They alter the level playing field where athletes compete. It is not just the instant physical gains. Steroids can harm an athlete's body and reputation. What are your goals and the team's goals for the second half of the season? To make it to the playoffs. We're not satisfied where we are. Um, I think we're seven right now, seven or eight right now. Um, so just to make sure we lock that, lock that spot. Um, and we just want to continue to grow. We don't want to settle for trying to make it in at the last or having to win a game at the end to, to get us in there. We want to be able to have a cushion to be able to go into the playoffs. So I came to Chicago to win. I came to Chicago to the playoffs and bring championships home, and that's what I'm going to do. Fill in the blank on this one. The Chicago Sky will make a deep playoff push if... We play together. We stick together. Build our chemistry. Um, I think our team has a lot of personality. I think our team has a lot of fight and that dog mentality that you can't you can't give out give out on. Um, I love my teammates. I know they have my back and I got their back. So I'm excited to see where we can go. In basketball, where agility, speed, and power are vital, steroids may provide unnatural advantage that is nearly impossible to compete with. Very good, very impressive. She deserves a lot of credit for it. Feisty, uh, you know, goes out there, fights, gives it all she's got for her teammates every day. And they were relevant for a while before they went on this latest losing streak. But 26 double-doubles on the season, averaging a double-double, only the fifth rookie in WNBA history yeah. to pull that off. You can't say enough. The only thing you can say about her as a rookie is that she wasn't Caitlin Clark. That's about it. Everything else is nothing but positive, and even that is positive because everybody ain't going to be, you know, the female version of Steph Curry for crying out loud. So when a player like Angel Reese, who has established a reputation as being powerful, impenetrable, and dominating, is accused of taking performance-enhancing drugs, it upsets everything she has contributed to the sport. When y'all are on the same side of the ball at the same time. Yeah, we haven't had a talk yet, obviously. Um, everybody can cheer for both of us for one day, so it's just <laughs> going to be cool. So I'm excited. Um, this is going to be first of many. I know we're going to be all-star teams together in the future, um, Olympic teams together for in the future too. So I'm just excited just to be here in this moment and everybody coming and being able to watch. I know it's going to be a sold-out crowd. So women's sports is going into a rise, and, and I'm happy. Well, for the first time, we're actually seeing some monetary value placed on all of the excitement around this league. I mean, your media rights deal just tripled. Yeah. What were your thoughts when you saw that? I was that so happen? happy. I mean, we deserve it. They, This league has deserved it for a while. The women in this league have deserved it for a while. And it raises the question, was she really that good? Was it all a ruse caused by illicit drugs? 
For fans, the surprise may be heartbreaking since it alters your perception of the person, the sport, of the game itself. We talked about the hand gesture. Mm -hmm. How do you reflect on that moment? Me and Kayla have been playing against each other since we were kids. It's just a full circle moment of how women are, are viewed when it comes to trash talking. And it's okay in men's, in, in men's sports, so we're going to normalize that in women's sports as well. So it's just super competitive. I think we're two great competitors. We brought a lot of fans to this league, and I thought we're going to continue to do that. And one day, hopefully, we can be teammates. How do you handle the comparison off the court? I try to separate myself from everybody else and try to be me and not focus on what everybody else is doing, I think. You can't speak about Angel Reese without mentioning one of the biggest WNBA rivalries in recent memory. Her rivalry with Indiana Fever Point guard Caitlin Clark. The rivalry is not only about who is the best player, it is about who can be the biggest rising star in women's basketball. Caitlin Clark is remarkable, making assists for her teammates, breaking records, selling out arenas both home and away, and bringing attention to the league that almost no one believed was possible. Since 2016, Clark had a rookie record-setting year. Here she is. I feel like basketball has really consumed my life for a year, so I feel like it'll be good for me to kind of reflect back on everything that's happened. Like, I feel like I didn't even have time to really reflect on my college career because it ended so fast. And then I came here and was trying to give everything I could to, to this team. And it was special. It was There was a lot of things that this group accomplished that, you know, a lot of people probably th didn't think was possible. All right, uh, Caitlin finally getting a moment to breathe, right? As she just mentioned, didn't even get to reflect at all on her college career and just jumped right into things and had an epic season. How would you describe Janae, her historic career? Yeah, I mean, a year this far. This is not to say that Reese hasn't been phenomenal in her rookie season. She has broken records too. But the drug allegations against her may just diminish all her achievements. They didn't get the attention that they deserve. And I think it's just gonna continue to grow. So I'm really excited for the league right now. You recently played against Asia Wilson. Uh -huh. What advice has she given you? Yeah, I love Asia. I've been inspired by her since I was literally young. I've had conversations with her um, when I was at Maryland, when I was a freshman, and she was already in the league. I just love being able to see a woman in sports that thrives through everything, and just knowing that like it wasn't an easy journey for, for her. It has never been an easy journey for me. So just being able to look after her and look at her and see like that's where I want to be one day, and just thrive and walk in her footsteps, because she's laid the ground for me to be able to do that. And she's been nothing but an, an inspiration to me. She's been joyful to me. She's always been like somebody that I can call and be there for. So I just love that about her. Tell me about Chai Barbie. Bayou Barbie was my first nickname. That's why I got that from LSU. A fan called me Bayou Barbie because my nails and hair and stuff is always done. So they were like the Barbie part, obviously from that and the Bayou is. Now Clark doesn't have this giant allegation hovering around her. Her dominance on the court is unblemished. She smashed the WNBA rookie scoring record, broke the assist records in the WNBA without rumor of breaking any rule. Here is another interesting fact to consider. Clark has been receiving honors, which culminated in her Rookie of the Year award. Reese has been outspoken about how she is great and deserves all of the recognition and how the media just favors Clark. So could Angel Reese resort to steroids to keep up with Clark? How her team started to gel around her and how her chemistry with her teammates grew more and more and more with every game. Her play was outstanding, but how she elevated her teammates was also so fun to watch. Hats off to Caitlin, should have been unanimous, but I'm just gonna stop it. No, 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 I'm gonna pick it up. Please. Because she should have been a unanimous Rookie of the Year. And just for some historical context, a lot of time Rookie of the Year is typically unanimous or very close to it. Aaliyah Boston was unanimous. I believe Ryan Howard had about like 53 out of 56 votes. Raquel Onyewere, I think it was about 47 of 49. So it's typically close. But ever since, you know, Angel Reese had that injury to me and also coming off of Olympic break, Caitlin Clark separated herself. Yeah. She should have been unanimous. Now to celebrate her, one thing that people forget is as a rookie, she was the most blitzed player yeah. in the WNBA and she still put up 19 five and eight assists, breaking, like you Sick. said, the Nasty. assist record. Sick. To be able to do that as a rookie in the face of that much defensive pressure. We don't know the answer to that question. Only Reese knows what is going on in her life. However, the possibility that Angel Reese has been using steroids changes the dynamics of her competition with Clark. It is no longer a rivalry between two athletes fighting to get to the top of the sport they love. Instead, the conversation has changed to one athlete reaching for the top through pure skill and the other using shortcuts.
drugs to achieve success. Sincerely, no one knows the true story, and we all have to wait to see what becomes of this allegation against Angel Reese. Remember to like the video, subscribe to the channel, and smash the notification bell.